we shall require a substantially new manner of thinking if mankind is to survive. Albert Einstein Circa 2050 AD The only sound heard over the land is a sound of silence. Luxurious vehicles, but no petrol to drive them forward. Futuristic hospitals, but no electricity to elevate sinking lives. State-of-the-art kitchens, but no cooking fuel to appetize hungry palates. Is this what tomorrow holds in store for us? Each day, as consumption grows, world resources are fast depleting. Oil, petrol, gas, coal, fossil fuels that have drastically altered the world's panorama. Energies that we cannot depend upon forever. While many expended precious time in endless debates and discussion, a few across the globe realized the sun's potential as an eternal source of energy and deftly sprung into action. Amongst these few was a state from India led by a man who believed that a few actions were much bigger than thousand good intentions. Gujarat's tryst with renewable energy began in 2009 when it became the first state in the country and the fourth province in the world to establish a dedicated department for climate change. This was followed by the formulation of solar power policy 2009 by the state and signing of power purchase agreements, PPAs, with 80 companies for 960 megawatts of solar power generation. Today, with more than 600 megawatts of installed solar power generation capacity, Gujarat can well be termed as the solar capital of India. Of the many spectacular feats by the state and solar energy sector, the most resounding achievement accomplished in the shortest possible time frame is the Gujarat Solar Park at Charanga. Asia's largest, first of its kind. Multi-facility and multi-beneficiary solar park. Today, the park is already generating 214 megawatts of clean, green energy and when fully commissioned, the project will generate 500 megawatts of solar power. Encouraged by the success of the Phase 1, the government has already initiated work on Phase 2 and 3 of the solar park. In addition to power generation, the park will also feature manufacturing units for solar PV cells and ancillary equipment, R&D facilities, skill development and vocational training centers and in the process create large-scale employment opportunities for the local populace and lead to significant reduction in cost of solar power. Besides the Gujarat Solar Park, there are several other locations at which private companies, in partnership with the government, have established solar projects generating almost 400 megawatts of solar power. As part of its Clean Climate Initiative, the state has resolved to develop the state capital Gandhinagar as India's first solar city. It has launched the Solar Rooftop Program that aims to utilize the vast rooftops of the government buildings for solar power generation. The pilot project for generating 5 megawatts of solar power is under implementation and a significant milestone is the GPCB building which has emerged as India's first energy negative building. The government plans to gradually expand the project to private homes, commercial buildings and other metro cities of Gujarat. The most remarkable aspect of Gujarat's approach towards harnessing alternate source of energy is its innovative use of resources. Gujarat is home to world's largest canal network. The government has envisioned an innovative idea to exploit the large surface area of these canals for harnessing the solar energy by setting up solar panels. 
a pilot project on a one-kilometer stretch on the canal near Sanand for generation of one megawatt of solar power is already operational and the same will be scaled up for larger production. A significant byproduct of this project is the tremendous amount of water that will be saved due to less evaporation. In order to address the huge demand for technically qualified and skilled manpower, the government has introduced a special course, MTech and PhD in Solar Energy at Pandit Dindayal Petroleum University to develop sector-specific manpower and also set up a dedicated one megawatt solar power project at PDPU for research and development. The efforts of the state have been recognized globally and many international bodies like ADP, IFC, OPIC and US EXIM have extended their support to the state government for various initiatives. Boosted by the success of its initial efforts, the government has accelerated its efforts and charted an ambitious roadmap for the next five years that aims at reducing carbon emissions significantly, creating employment for 45,000 people in the renewable energy sector, creating large-scale investment opportunities in R&D and manufacturing, and generating more than 100,000 million units of clean, green energy annually. For Gujarat believes that the time of reckoning for the human race has arrived. Because till such time that we discover another planet that will support our life systems, planet Earth is our only hope. It's now or never. Gujarat, turning on the power of the sun.